When it comes to COVID-19, the evidence remains clear. Masking and vaccines are effective. But conspiracies and politicized headlines are drowning out what experts say are real warning bells about the future of the pandemic here in Wisconsin. 1,359 beds in Wisconsin, and only 121 of those are available. So we're 92 percent full right now. Florida frontline doctors say they're seeing double the cases they did back in winter of 2020, when the first major wave of the pandemic was at its peak. Doctors say it's just a matter of time before Wisconsin catches up. If we're not more vaccinated than these other states, if people aren't protecting themselves it, to a different degree with mitigation measures than the other states, we probably shouldn't expect to have a different outcome. Uh, what we're seeing now, the, the cases, the hospitalizations and the deaths at this point are preventable. Medical jargon, political convenience and relatively low levels of scientific literacy all make what doctors call a medical marvel seem suspicious. Uh, but at this point, we have one of the most effective, safest vaccines that's frankly ever been developed. Wisconsin's vaccination rate stagnated back in July, despite growing data and support of the vaccine's safety and effectiveness in the face of the Delta variant's threat. A psychological phenomenon known as the backfire effect may explain why. Psychologists say when someone has a deeply held belief, evidence that that belief is wrong actually convinces them to dig in deeper on that idea. The stronger the emotional connection, the more powerful the backfire. But that emotional logic can work both ways, with doctors saying the vaccination effort in Wisconsin will need to be person to person and not data in detail. You go on all these different medicines uh, that frankly have far higher side effects uh, and a far higher risk profile than this vaccine, uh, but you trust your doctor for that. And so I would say talk to your doctor and trust your doctor on this as well. Call it dihydrogen monoxide and tell people it's found in sewage and even a drink of H2O can seem scary. That's why experts say that building trust in the science and in its messaging will be key to stopping the spread of the Delta variant and ending the pandemic. For Newswatch 12, I'm Cooper Henkel.